Hey folks, thanks for stopping by. I've kind of had a hankering for a meatloaf or a best stuffed bell pepper or something to that effect for the last few weeks. So, uh, by the way, a hankering is a, a desire in case you're wondering. That's a Texas term. Uh, but anyway, I started looking around for some recipes for some stuffed bell peppers and I run across one that was a Mexican stuffed bell pepper. And I thought, yeah, I might try that. But I started looking at all the ingredients and it looked pretty uh, involved. So I thought, hey, I'll just make one on the fly. So that's what we're gonna to do today. We're gonna to make what we're gonna call a Mexican stuffed bell pepper. And we're gonna cook it on the Traeger grill. And I got two bell peppers since there's just two of us here. I've got a pound of ground beef. It's 80-20. I got about a half a cup of diced up onions, one egg. I got a can of Rotel tomatoes. Uh, these are mild. Uh, you can use the original or the hot, whichever you prefer. Uh, and I've got some of my homemade uh, taco seasoning that I use on my taco burgers a while back. And uh, the recipe for this is on those taco burgers. So you can go look at those and grab that recipe and know what's in it. I also got some uh, saltine crackers over there that we'll put in for a binder. So I'm gonna stick my hands in this stuff and start it going and we will see where we come up here. First, I'm gonna dump in that half cup of onion and let's go ahead and toss in this egg. This may be enough juice out of this uh, can of Rotel to uh, be enough for the mixture. I'm not sure. If not, I've got a can of tomato sauce sitting over to the side here. And I'm going to put, uh, I don't have much of this, so looks like uh, maybe a tablespoon. Yeah, that's a good heaping tablespoon there, and that's pretty much all that's in there. So that should be enough to go along with those Rotel tomatoes. So, I'm going to stick my hand in here and kind of get this mixture going, and then we'll see where we stand as for what we need as crackers go. Uh, and we are going to need a little bit of a binder, so I'm going to grab a few saltines here. This is one of those things where you just kind of, you just kind of got to play with it until it gets to the right consistency, depending on how much uh, moisture is in your ground beef. Uh, and that kind of a thing. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight saltines here. I'm gonna crumble those up real good. And we'll mix those in and see what that does for us. If that's not enough, we'll add a few more. You don't want to get it too terribly dry, but again, you want it to uh, not be too too loose either so and I'm gonna have way more ground beef here than I need to uh, fill these two peppers that I've got because they're not real big peppers so I'll tell you what I'm gonna do I'm gonna form some patties and we're gonna make uh, I guess you could call them a uh, maybe a hamburger steak or something that effect Let's get a few more crackers in here I think that's going to be enough. I actually didn't count the amount of crackers I had that time. So, but like I was saying, you need to just kind of do it till you get to a consistency where it's not too wet, but yet not too dry either. So, this is what we've got. As you can see, it's uh, turned out pretty nice there. I think this is going to make a good stuffed pepper. So. I'm gonna take this one pepper here and we're gonna stuff that dude 
good and full. This one's a little bit deeper, but still probably a half a pound of ground beef would have been plenty for both of these peppers. So we've got that much left. So I think what I'll do, is just form some patties. That's still pretty wet. But I think it'll do okay. Okay, we've got these made up, and we'll meet you out at the trailer here in a few minutes and get these things going, and I've got my temperature probe out there. I'm going to stick in one of these peppers and so we can uh, kind of monitor the uh, temperature. You want to be sure and get it to at least 165 degrees. So we'll be back in just a sec. Okay, we're back. We're going to throw these peppers on. Got these patties I'm gonna stick on here. shutdown mode and we will be back shortly okay we're back we got our pepper done and we're going to cut into this dude and see what it tastes like like i said this was kind of an experiment so uh, we shall see looks juicy Pass a bite back to the queen. Thank you. It's pretty good. It could have used a little bit more salt. Uh, there was a little bit of salt in the uh, taco seasoning, but I probably should have added some salt and maybe some black pepper into the into the mixture uh, before I stuffed the pepper. But at any rate. It turned out pretty good. I think it's worthy of another try. So, hey, thanks for stopping by just cooking with the guys. We appreciate you watching our videos. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Hit that notification bell, and every time we do a new video, you get a notification. And hit that thumbs up button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Hey, that looks good. Hey, I don't look good. Let me know what you think. Maybe you do yours a different way. Let me know how you do it. Thanks for watching. I'm going to eat a bell pepper. See ya.